Okay. Got a little treat for myself. A little treat for you guys. First, I found my little unboxing knife. It fell on the floor underneath something. When I, when I went looking for something else, I found it. So, here we go. My Gerber knife. I got another unboxing to do. So, um, I did, uh, I didn't do an unboxing, but I, a couple Christmases ago, I gave my brother's mother-in-law, um, one of the Spiel de Jahres winners, Hanabi. Uh, I didn't think it was quite the game for me. Um, the, uh, the, uh, what should we call it? The hidden information mechanic. What do you call it? You know, the one where um, the hand holder doesn't know the cards that he has. Uh, it's a great mechanic. I thought the the game was a little thin on content. You know, more the... Um, I mean, I know it's supposed to be a, a mini game, but... Um, I would have liked to see more, right? So then, a couple years later, fast forward, Z-Man Games comes out with Beyond Baker Street. And uses the same hidden information stuff where the hand holder does not know uh, what they've got, but they know what everyone else has. And they incorporated um, an AI type, everyone against the game type thing. I mean, Hanabi was the same way, but this has, for those of us who are visual, you know, who like the visual stuff, this has a lot of good stuff in it. I thought it was a little bit pricey for what it was, but I mean, you know, compared with Hanabi, Hanabi has a collector's like set, deluxe set, which is a lot, a lot pricier than the little, what was it, the little uh, $15 or $10 version I got those uh, couple Christmases ago. Um, but, you know, without further ado, let's get started. I'll probably end up sleeving these cards if they're standard cards. To the four people, I have a, a gaming event tomorrow. It is currently well, after 12 on Saturday, uh, March 11th, 2017. Is it 11th? Yeah, 11th. I was thinking it was the 12th or something, but uh, I'm always a day off. So, get this. Go. In this game, <clears throat> each player is a detective working cases against Sherlock Holmes. And so we're trying to beat him to the conclusion. Um, it's kind of a light co-op game. I think it'll be fun to play. Let's see the components. You got your instructions. It's actually very high quality. It's, it's a little weird not having, you know, pulling stuff out like this and not having it be Kickstarter or something, you know. <clears throat> but Z-Man is known for their really good quality stuff. And this thing, Beyond Baker Street, is no different. It's a high quality uh, instruction manual, rule book. Lots of pictures, very well laid out. Instructions, a lot more reading than I thought there was going to be. Uh, unusual sus suspects or the usual ones, I guess. Um, credits. <clears throat> it's got a game board, which is uh, really cool. I like to see this kind of stuff. Ooh, it's big. It's a big board. It's got a lot of folds in it. See, a lot of layers. Oh, I don't know. I think these are euro-sized cards, so I don't have the sleeves for that. So maybe I won't be sleeping it. Maybe I won't need to, right? There probably won't be a whole lot of handling, but we're going to a coffee shop so tomorrow. So there is a good chance food bits and stuff will get on, on here. But you got a full size board. Thematic clues around London. Um looks like an old old uh timey themed deck or deck desk. Let's see. Um, we've got player tokens. Um, looks like they're shared because there are three that are the same color. 
one is a different color and you have a Sherlock Holmes um, silhouette. So, mostly cards, looks like. So you have these three blue markers and a white one. And then you have the Sherlock Holmes silhouette, like I said. Uh, and you have cards. Oh, and bonus, bonus envelopes. That's always, or envelopes, uh, bags. It's always kind of nice to have those. Um, then you have cards. Beyond Baker Street, and then the case files, which I guess are clues. Right. Um, I watched a Dorado's run through of this game a little while back, a few weeks ago. And it just sort of stuck with me. Like I said, um, they, they took the Hanabi gameplay style and then they took it to the next level um, in both production and gameplay. And I'm kind of excited to play it. So here's the, up above here is the Sherlock track. And I guess you start here and you start working the case. And you have 15 rounds to do it. With Hanabi, you just got little fuse markers and a couple of stacks, which is great. It's compact. But I like to see a little bit of stuff on the board. A, little, a few things on the table. It's still a small box game. So, let's see what we got here. It looks like we have some multicolored cards. I think the different uh, suspects give you different things. So, you have... That's double-sided. Okay, just there's like a hint... Um, player guide. Why are all these mixed up? So you have the different clues, different colors, different numbers. Um, suspect, number 15. They're all mixed up. Uh, I'm not sure if I should be separating them, but I will. And if we have to shuffle them, we'll shuffle them again. Uh, another player guide. So I see it's two to four players, so there's going to be four of these, of course. Maybe there might be an extra one if we're lucky. Alright, so I will separate these. So I think these, these are different things. There are three stacks. Uh, I guess they're the types of clues to follow. Suspects and clues. Um, let's see, there's some things around the board. So I guess the impossible, the um, discarded clues will go up here, face up, and the impossible. Evidence, that's eliminated. So I guess these are evidence. We got documents, clue, more documents. Let's see. Uh, Witness statement, suspect movements. So you get the four different kinds, different colors, different number values. Then you have the suspects, right? Oh, then you get when you, uh, what is it? When you earn one, I guess, they give you abilities or restrictions or something. Um, okay, so you have those. And then we have these, which are the case files. I guess they're the different missions, the different goals that we can get. Should be using my knife to open this, but my fingernails do okay. So 
There. No oh, opportunity. So these are different cards too. So you got case files and you have opportunities. So uh, and suspects. Oh, okay. So there are your suspects. So two so case files. This, maybe these go into the impossible. Right, and you have opportunities. Um, yeah, opportunities. Let's see, and suspects. There are suspects. And where are the other ones in? These things. Let's see. Okay, so they don't match up. That's a 13. This is a 13. So, obviously my deduction skills are not that great. So, we'll separate these. Suspects, impossible, or case files. So, motive. Oh, there's you got motives here too. Motive. It says motive on there. So, suspect, motive... Opportunity, case files. Wow, lots, lots of different kinds of cards. I, I kind of like this. Lots of variety of components. It's just, it gives it a fuller feel at least as I sort through all these things. Like there's really something, a complex machine of clues and whatnot. Even though this this is a pretty simple game, there's a lot there. A lot, a lot of well, the the rule book you saw had a lot of stuff in it. Okay, I'm pretty sure these have to be mixed up though, so we'll just leave these. I mean, they're the same back, different colors in front. So, oh look, there's a spot right there. Boom, You're on Baker Street. Suspects. I don't know where these would go. Let's see if we can guess. So there's like discard piles right here. You can see a silhouette. And notice right away before. And then the draw piles up here, probably. Um, opportunities. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. So maybe these case files. Different um, flavor text, different values. One, two, four. One, two, four. So there's. Okay. I don't know what that corresponds to, obviously. I've got to read the book. But there you have it. You got player guides. Some kind of. Uh, I don't know if these are hints or whatever. Help tokens, player tokens or markers, um, case files, these are something else, witnesses maybe, you have uh, clues and other things, other resources, motives, opportunities, there you go. Suspects, instruction book, extra bags, um, yeah, that's it, John Baker Street, um, I guess I can do like a gameplay, it's, can't be that long, or I guess you could just go to Rado, right, check him out, he goes to a little more description, um, understands it understands it a lot better than I do, but um, I'll have read the instruction books by tomorrow, and I can come back and show you guys how it works after I've played it a couple times with uh, the group I'm meeting up with tomorrow. So, with that, uh, thanks for watching, and we're just gonna close out right now. Till next time, see you later.